Okay, we got the Toyota here. If you look down in here, okay, well we got here's the upstream O2, and it goes up here. We're gonna unplug it. Ah, man, that's why I like to wear gloves. Get you some latex gloves. Uh, we're gonna unplug that and then we're gonna remove this shield. It looks like we got one, two, three, four, looks like 12 millimeter bolts. Get them off and take that shield right off. Okay, and over here, here's the new Cadillac converter. As you can see, it's two pipes, resonator, the cats, and, the, and everything. You know, get it like that comes in a lot better all right you ain't gotta mess around with no parts all right let's set this camera up and let's get those first parts taken care of uh, before we jack it up because then we're gonna jack it up all right we'll be right back okay we, might, we got a little change of plans here you know we're noticing because if you notice the bolts we got to get on this cat is one right there and the other one right over there what I was gonna do is take this shield off so we can spray them, spray the end of it with some WD-40 so we don't mess that up. But I think we can get in there without it. Okay, you know, let's get the WD-40 and let's let's get those sprayed as much as possible. I mean, that'll avoid us some work right there. All right? Let's get some WD-40 and spray them up. Okay, we got our can of WD-40 here. Okay, let's focus down there. Let's see if we can. See if we can get spray some on this side. You know, O3, the bolts shouldn't be that seized up, but why take a chance? There we go. Okay, and see, that's the first thing. So when we get up under there, we can, uh, them bolts will be nice and ready, loose to be come right out of there. All right, next thing we're gonna do. Is let's jack up this front of this car and put jack stands on both sides. All right, let's do that. Okay, here we are up under the car. Now, as you can see, here's a resonator. All this is one welded system. See, if you don't do it, you're gonna have to cut it and put it. You know, put it put it together with the other part. You gotta measure it. Get the whole system just like that. All right, what we're gonna do is start from the back. And we're here. We got two 14 millimeter bolts, spring loaded. We're gonna spray that with some WD-40, and then we're going to buzz them right off. Let's see if we can see the other side up there. All right. So let's try to set this camera up and get those taken care of. We'll be right back. Okay, uh, just to be on the safe side, let's spray a little WD-40. You know, I'll try to get on both sides of this bolt. Run it out of here. Okay. Make sure this is a four, they're 14s. Okay. Yeah, we can get to both of them real good. What I'm gonna try to do is get up under here more. Let's get to this back one first.
as you can see, having some air tools or something, this is a lot easier. Heck of a lot easier. Uh, you know, doing it by hand is okay. Just use this right now. You'd be still on the, just the second turn on the first boat. All right. Now, you look up towards here. Now we're going to go up. And we got this little brace right here. Now, in order for that exhaust to come down, we got to take that brace out of there. It looked like a 12. No. Okay, that is the. Get some light on this. Yeah, 12 millimeter bolts. Let's get those bolts off there. And actually, they look like not even bolts, they're two 12 millimeter nuts. Let's get them off. Now see, I took this bracket down like this. So what I'm gonna do is just turn it around and see, make sure it can fit both ways, which it can. So we're gonna set that down to the ground. Put the two nuts on it, and move it over to the side. Now we got that clear. Now further up, we got mounts. Ooh, hangers, rubber hangers. That they, those gotta come off too. And those can be very can be very difficult. So what you want to do is see on this side if you can see that the rubber the rubber is supposed to pop off of there. That's not that easy. But we're gonna pop it off through the other side. But what we're gonna do is spray it with some WD-40 on both of them. And we're gonna take a pry bar and pry those off. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna get those off. We'll be right back. Okay, we got a pry bar. Uh, these things don't, they never come off easy. But uh, with that uh, WD-40 there, see that? Just pop right off. You gotta use some kind, use some WD-40 on those things. Come right off with no problem. Exhaust system's coming down. Now the only thing that's holding us up now is the two bolts up there. But what we gotta do now, as you can see, this is the downstream O2. You see how it's going up into the body. So it looks like it's a little plug right here. That's gonna, there we go. And then we gotta fish that wiring out of there. Hopefully we ain't gotta go up in the car. It looks like I am hitting the carpet. We might have to go up there and pull that carpet back and disconnect that. But we're changing that anyway, so I should just cut it. <laughs> but uh, we know we need to show you how to how was how to take it out. But what I'm going to do is get all this stuff out of the way and let's go up here, pull the carpet back, take a look at it. Yeah, because that thing is stuck up there. And see how this O2 disconnects. We'll be right back. Okay, we got the passenger side door open. You know, let's uh let's take this mat out of here. And then over here in the corner, it looks like there's a little round clip to hold the carpet, just pull it back. You see how I take that off. Pull this carpet, and there it is right there. There's the plug to the O2 sensor. You know, I don't know what these car manufacturers think of. Let's unplug that. And there we go. Going down into the car. Alright, we can we just gonna leave that like that. When we come back, let's get back up under there and uh finish this job off. Okay, we pulled it through the body, through the floor. And here we go, we got the O2 sensor unplugged. So we got two more two more bolts and this whole system is gonna come out. Now I gotta get way up under here because the next two bolts is way up there. Let me see if I can. Can you see them, Kim? Too. Let me grab the camera. Let me show you where these two bolts are. Okay, you gotta get way up under here. 
okay and there's one bolt right there and then now since we got the back disconnected we can swing this system to the other side and there's the other bolt now earlier we sprayed it with WD-40 so everything should be good and let's see here we got a long extension let's focus in here okay okay now you see what we got I'm gonna bring the camera back out and then uh Hopefully you get the best watch well, what you can. Right back. Okay, we got a pretty long extension with a universal 14 millimeter up here. Little, little wobble socket. Ah, let's see. Go up here. You know, I'm using a wobble and you probably don't even have to. Because it looks like it's pretty much just straight on. And you can probably shorten up the extension. Let's spell that out here. Okay. Okay. As you can see. Here's one. That's off. We're gonna set this up in the front. Now what we're gonna do is swing this exhaust to the other side. Now when you take out this second one, remember that thing is gonna drop. So you know, have one hand just to hold it up barely. Just hit this out. Now the upstream O2, that's connected to the exhaust manifold. So you don't have to worry about disconnecting that one. So now let's see, this thing should slide right down. Okay. Now, let's drag this out of here. Now while you're up under here, I want you to take notice that, you see how I got the car? jacked up with a hydraulic jack two blocks of wood so it can pick it up high enough and i got it secured with two good jack stands you know don't get up under no vehicle with just some jack and anything else some brick get this thing spend the money get some jack stands all right let's get from, let's get from under here Okay. Let's, let's go bring this over there next to the new one. Okay. We got it next to the, the new one. Let's uh cut this tape off of here. You want to try to get all, get the old plastic off. If not, it's going to start smelling and burning. Okay, now let's match this up. We got this part up here for the, the front of the car. Um, we got the second O2 downstream um, O2 sensor. We, we're getting a new one, so we're not worried about that. Then we have the secondary pipe with the resonator connected. And see, now usually you would have to figure out and cut this to put that in there. It's best just to do it this way, you know, in that way. That's all you gotta do. Fit the two pieces in. This is a little, little bent. We gotta take a pair of pliers and just open that up, you know, from shipping. But usually that's gonna fit right in there. See how it's fitting in with no problem. Then we go back here to the exhaust to the end to the part where the muffler fits in and as you can see we're going to get a new gasket 
I hate these donuts. We're gonna get a new one of those also. Um, also, there's one to the front. Okay. Um, just okay over here, as you can see right here in the front. Uh, we're getting us a new gasket in there also with um new bolts. Okay, we got a new catalytic converter and resonator pipe. But let's see, this is gonna go this way. And see, there's the old one. Okay, and over here, we have our Denso oxygen sensors. Now, as you recall, one of our sensors had a little grommet on it. Matter of fact, you see right over here, this is the downstream oxygen sensor. I got a little grommet that goes between the floor, goes uh, through the floor, up under the carpet. We got the plug. So let's see what we got here. Okay, looking at this one, I don't see no grommet, so that's, I'm going to assume that's the upstream. Let's look at this downstream one. And, oh, oh there it is. There's our grommet right inside there, so this is our downstream. Also, it comes with a little anti-seize compound. You must uh, put this on just a little bit. You don't have to use this whole tube on the threads. So whenever you have to change it, it doesn't seize up in there and strip the threads out in the pipe. So we're going to install this one right now, and then we're going to put the first pipe up. Okay? Um, we'll be right back. Okay? Downstream O2. Let's uh, open this up. Now what you want to do is, as I stated, Take a little bit of the anti-seize. Now, do not get it inside these ports because this these ports, that's where the uh, hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide go through so the computer can read. You don't want to clog that up. So you just want to put some right around the threads. So that take your finger, and stay away from those that's the end of the sensor. Come on, just like that. Now you do have um, they do have oxygen sensor sockets, but being that both of them is new, we don't need the sensor socket itself. But when we change the front one, we will. But for this one, we don't. We're just gonna put it until by hand till it stops. Brace the cat, 7 8 wrench. You're going to tighten that up. And don't try it, just tighten it up till it stops, and that's about it. You don't want to over tighten it and strip anything out. Save this. You might use it uh, again, like on spark plugs or something like that. Okay. We're all set with this. Now, what we're going to do now is bring this pipe over here. Now, up at the exhaust manifold, you got this donut, little gasket. This, it sits right in there just like that. But what it does, it goes up on the exhaust manifold first. This one's worn out, it's garbage. See, we're gonna put a new put a new gasket on there. Match the sizes up. Perfect sizes. Fit in there just like that. We're gonna get out two bolts. Get it ready. And we're gonna we're not gonna hook up the resonator pipe first. We're gonna hook up this pipe first. Alright. When we come back, 
we're gonna go up there and we'll show you how to put the gasket on and put this first pipe on. We'll be right back. Okay, there's our exhaust manifold right there. And uh, there's a lip out here where the gasket goes on. Now here's the gasket. Now you want to make sure the gasket don't go on that way. You wanna make sure it goes on that way. Take a look at it. It's gonna go up just like that. Now, if it don't snap into place and hang up there, you just want to squeeze it a little bit, you know, just a little bit. So squeeze it just a little bit, so it'll hang in place. That's it. Now what we're going to do is take our exhaust. Put it up there, and we're gonna get our bolts and start them. All right, so I'm gonna put the bolts in and start them, and then I'll come back and show you. Bring right back. Okay. Now, being that these bolts are spring loaded, you gotta put a little pressure on them to get them started. So as you can see, I got both bolts started, and uh, now these these bolts stop when they're tightened. They stop. So, don't try to over tighten them and break them. Just bring them in. Both of them. Okay, they tightened up. Now see, this can still swivel because they're spring-loaded. The bolts are spring-loaded. All right. All right, now we come back. We're going to hook up this O2 sensor. We'll be right back. Okay, let's uh, remember that hole we got in the bottom of the floor. Let's stick that O2 sensor in there. Okay, what I got to do is let me go up here and pull that carpet back more. Now, you can have this O2 out and bring the O2 through the body first, but we got it like this. So now we're just gonna squeeze this grommet in there and it'll snap into, there's like a groove in it. It's gonna snap into place. Good, we got that. Now we're ready for the second part, the resonator. Let's go get the resonator. And we're gonna, it's gonna go inside this pipe right here. And we're gonna hook the screws up in the back. We'll be right back. Okay, let's slide this pipe up under there. Now, as you can see, this pipe got the clamps, the brackets on them. They're gonna go into the hanger. So that's gonna help, that's gonna hold this exhaust system up. So we're gonna get this pipe in there. We're gonna go on a little bit more. But we just got that just to hold that up for now. Okay, here we go. Now we got a clamp to go on that. We ain't gonna put that clamp on yet. Let's go to the back and hook up the pipe to the muffler. Now right back here.
and you got the gasket. And the gasket, the flat side, has to go up against the new pipe. Then, you gotta move the muffler into place. Just like that. And we got the two screws, two new two bolts. Now these bolts are also spring loaded, so you gotta push in on them to get them started. If you can't do it by hand, you know, use the ratchet or something to push in. And I got that one in. Now let's get this other one. Okay, now before we put the clamp on the front, what you want to do is just shake around the exhaust a little bit, you know, make sure nothing's hitting because this pipe you can't adjust it. Yeah, nothing's hitting. All right. Get our 14 millimeter and we're gonna tighten these up. It's a little tight. You got everything tight up there. Clamps are held. Clamps are held in. Now let's get our clamp over here. And get that in. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna put the clamp on the, the resonator pipe and the cat, tighten it up. Then we're gonna go up there and change that uh, front O2. And you know why we up under here? Let's hook up this uh, little brace again. 12 millimeters, so while we out there, we're gonna get us a 12 millimeter socket. We're gonna tighten that up. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we got a new clamp. You know, before we do anything, let's uh, Get this 12 millimeter, these two bolts. Tighten them up. Okay, switch it over to a 13. And we got the clamps. Yeah, up here, I'll put this clamp on. Now you want to make this pretty tight so I don't loop no fumes inside the car. Tight exhaust. Alright, we're done up under here. Let's uh, bring this car down and change that upper O2 and pull that carpet back over. We'll be right back. Okay, here we are at the upstream O2. We're going to change that. As I said, it's very important. Uh, recommendations is changing O2 sensors every between 50,000 to 100,000 miles. Check out your um, vehicle's manual to let you know when to change yours. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is let's unplug this 
O2. Little tab on it, just press it in. Now it's got a special O2 socket to get to these. Now if you don't have the special O2, you're probably gonna have to try to remove this shield, the four 12 millimeter bolts and get down there with a wrench or something. But uh, as you can see right here, we got an oxygen sensor socket set. This is the most common one to use, but if we go down here and try to use this one, you can see it's uh, too bulky. Can't even get down in there. We're gonna try this little stubby one right here. So then, see the sockets are made with a little gap in them, so you can put the wire, so you can go over the wire. Put it down. Okay, that one seems to be hold pretty good. I miss a little tight spot. So hopefully we can get this ratchet down there. And loosen this up. Ah, there. Perfect. Now usually, an O2 sensor, once you loosen it up the first the first time, it usually can come out by hand. Yeah, see, there we go. Okay, here we go. Now if you look at this sensor, you see, it looks like it's kind of clogged inside. Um, a little burnt. So this, this O2 sensor is not reading like it's supposed to be. That's why it's a good recommendation to change these when you're supposed to. Alright, let's go over here to the new one. Okay, we got the new one down here. And uh, also... Got some anti seize. Okay, let's put a little bit on the threading. Remember, do not get it on the sensor. Take your finger, make sure it's around the threads. Okay, let me press it off. Okay, let's go up here and install this sensor. And with that anti-seize on, it's going to help with the installation. Okay, looks like it stopped. Now instead of just going right ahead and put the, the ratchet on it, let's use the socket. And again, turn it by hand as much as you can. Okay, now we're going to tighten it up. And again, this ain't super tight. Get that and just a little bit more. Good. Okay. Let's go over here and plug it up. Done.